hallelujah to the Lamb, and glory to the Lord, who is the Most High. Welcome to the Christian channel. I have redeemed myself. I have taken the God pill, and I am ready to give you guys free consultation Friday. But first, you guys know, you know what it is, right there, 13 days, 10 hours, 58 minutes, body, language, mastery, quarter two enrollment is two weeks away. I am actually, it is, it's getting a little scary how many people are signing up. I'm, I think I may have bitten off more than I can chew to an extent, but I always deliver, as you guys know. But boy, oh boy, there are a lot of folks joining. And man, this, this tier two is going to be something else. And, and in the meantime, let's take a look at what it's going to entail. The Body Language Mastery Course from Modern Life Dating is coming out June 28th this month. This course is going to show you how to understand a female's body language on a date and give you the confidence to know what she is thinking and feeling just by observing her body. The course includes 40 gestures total, both positive and negative. This course will increase your closing rate by at least 10%. In addition to that, after you are signed up for the course, there will be two daily webinars for three weeks following the course for you to attend with all your questions about the course. Absolutely free, and that is a $1,000 value. And last, you will be added to a private men's-only group that will be supporting you as you educate yourself on this journey. There is limited enrollment. That's right. Enrollment will only be one time per business quarter, so you do not want to miss out. Body Language Mastery by Modern Life Dating is being released on June 28th. To learn more, go to Modern Life Dating forward slash body language. Sign up for the email waiting list and you'll automatically receive updates about the course. There you go. Go to it right here, modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Scroll down, click on this top link. Boom. Type in your best email address to get on the waiting list. The waiting list is now, I think, around like 60 something. Um it's pretty it's 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 pretty it's pretty it's pretty wild, man. Honestly, I'm I'm blown away. I am absolutely blown away. Um yeah, just get in. That's all I'm gonna say at this point. I don't even think I need to like pitch it anymore. Like just just get in. And honestly, if you don't get it, I don't care because uh, I really just I'm I, to be honest, I'm just don't want to deal with people who don't want to be in it. If you can't see the value, if you cannot take a look at what I've been offering and all the positive feedback, and you don't care to change your life, then nothing's gonna help you. So actually, don't join. <laughs> That's what I would say. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not doing any more uh, begging. I'm not doing any more of that. Like I said, I think these signups are gonna be insane. Um, I know where I've taken the guys before, and I know where I'm taking these guys coming next. I've got a lot of guys emailing me, got a lot of guys DMing me on Instagram, telling me they're excited. So, shoot. It is going to be an awesome, awesome quarter to enrollment. Um, I'm building an army, man. I'm really building an army. It's just one one thing at a time. Um but wow, it's just I'm just so happy that everybody has been participating and joining in, all you guys. Um, and then so today, for you guys who are tuning in for the first time, today is also um, the same show we do every Friday, which is Free Consultation Friday. What it is, is if you have a question, you just call the phone number on the screen, 657-383-1318. No call is too small, and the only question that is dumb is a question that you don't ask because – we all have questions, and it's the only logical thing to do is to seek the answer to your questions. So the phone call is uh, the phone call line is open now, six five seven three eight three one three one eight. And in the meantime, um, I'll just 
give you guys a little bit more updates. Obviously, um, follow me on Twitter. Uh, actually, my Twitter has been blowing up. I'm at 1,147 followers for you guys. Like, I just grew by like over 300 something followers within a week. Um, definitely follow me on Twitter. Just if you want to keep tabs on what I'm doing at all times, uh, at Modern Life John J O N, and then follow me on uh, Instagram as well, which is at Modern Life Dating. I have three thousand seven hundred fourteen followers there. That one's blown up. Also, uh, is this let me reload? I think I, did I put a new one up. Yeah, I always put funny memes up. Um, this one's just pretty funny. When you hear your pet eating something in the other room that you know isn't food. <laughs> You guys know, any of you guys who are dog owners, you know you had to reach into old Fido's mouth there and pull out pull out some stuff before. Um, so yeah, that is that's a little social media roundup. Let's take a look at who's in the chat and say hello. And then I got some stuff I just want. I'm actually going to continue talking about uh, what we were talking about yesterday, which is how to be happy. Um, <clears throat> so. Uh, Eric Von Weddle, welcome, sir. Uh, MRA Music, what's up, man? Christopher Wilson, checking in. Checking in from the land of beautiful women, Filipinas. Good stuff. Uh, Ernie says, my boss told me to train a woman. I respectfully told him, no, I'm not playing that game. Yeah. Yeah, I understand, man. It's funny watching American women, like, slowly exile themselves into irrelevancy. It's very funny. Um, as long as you have red pill awareness... And you get your shit together, you take care of yourself, you'll be fine. They can't fuck with you. They can't fuck with you at all. Um, Muhammad, what's up, man? Hey, Muhammad, thank you for the uh, $10 donation I woke up to. That was very nice. Uh, I went out last night uh, for a business meeting, and it ended up getting taken into the nightclub district of Rapungi, And I got home at like oh, 7 a.m. It, it, it got out of hand real quickly. Um, if you guys saw me on my Instagram, on my Instagram story, yeah, I was drinking with this till literally the sun came up. Um, I don't drink, uh, like I seriously, my free time, I don't even drink. My free time is literally like me having a good time is like ordering a pizza and like playing video games for like three hours. I'm like, that's like, ha ha ha, my guilt time. Like I don't get, you know, joy. I worked in the nightclub industry for four years. And um, really, it's just it gets bored. I mean, actually, it's for me, it's already incredibly boring. Um, just to top it off, like nightclubs in general, when we talk about picking up girls. The nightclubs are the most inefficient way to pick up chicks. The most inefficient way. You pay money to enter a room where the ratio is terrible. Right. That means there's more. Guys and there are girls, so the girls' egos are inflated. Therefore, they could be more chick, uh, more choosy, and more picky. And then at the end of the day, you're just fighting for scraps. And you know, not every girl is going out with the intention to have sex, but every guy is going out with the intention to have sex. So, yeah, I, but I ended up having a good time and um, made, you know, um, I was I was with um, uh, a very very well off man, uh, seven figures, and. Uh, you know, that that's you know, I used to chase hot girls all the time and be like flipping out, like, Oh my god, this girl texts me back, blah. Now that's how I feel like when I hang out with millionaires. I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, I'm a millionaire hunter now, right? Because, you know, that's what I do this stuff for is is to you guys to learn this part of dating, right? Because this is a learnable skill. You'll learn this and then you move on with your life and that's it. And if you want to help moving on with your life, like I said, it's never going to happen unless you take action. And it starts with the little things like picking up the phone and giving me a call right now with your question. Don't bullshit yourself. Don't say, I'll just read a blog and I'll figure it out. Or I'll just blah, blah, blah. I'll just do, you know, I'll watch a YouTube video and I'll figure it out. No. All you're doing is bullshitting your way into not taking action. That's That's the real deal right there. And honestly... Here's the reddest of the red pill ever. Oh, Chris Cantu. What's up, man? Dude, you've kind of fell off the grid. I'm glad to see you back, bro. Um, pop on over to YouTube, man. I'm live right now. Come on up. Or, or call in too, 657-383-1318. Uh, Chris Cantu, you are the fucking man, bro. You are really – I love him. I'm loving what you're doing, man. You're a great guy. Likes to see your evolution away from 
all the MGTOW nonsense. Oliver! What up, dude? I, I didn't know you followed me on Instagram as well. I've seen you um I've seen you tweeting at me on uh, Twitter, bro. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching, bro. Come over to YouTube, man. All the all the squads over here on YouTube. Um let me go. Uh, ben Musses can't wait to get my Japanese model clone sent to me as a bonus of the body language mastery course. No MGTOW doll for me. That's right. With one with one enrollment of body language mastery, I will clone a Japanese girl using the finest of Japanese biomedical engineering technology, and she will be mailed to you in a wooden box. Do not worry. I will drill holes in the wooden box, and she will arrive as soon as you click the add to cart and check out instantaneously. Boom. She's going to end up at your front door. Um, she will also show up with a basket of tactical soap and wash you like the king you are. So a uh, very, very underrated bonus there. Um, and if you can't see that I'm being sarcastic, then you are partially retarded for sure. Ivor, what's up, baby? I used I work in a factory, so strong chance she's a tad crazy. Yeah, good call. Uh, Muhammad, man, the head layers, yeah. <laughs> Edgar, Edgar Sandoval, what up, baby? How you doing, man? Ben, what's up, man? You sex machine? How you doing? Oh, Ben, I was just telling the boys that I, I just can't be going. I went out drinking last night with a client, you know, one of the uh, one of the dudes. I guy, he's he's bona fide millionaire, and so uh, I went out with him, and I got home at like eight o'clock this morning. And I've just been, I've been feeling like death, bro. I'm feeling like death. It's terrible. Uh, it's fucking terrible. But it's all good. Good problem to have. I made some great connections. Um, great connections. And looks like we got a caller on the line. 514, let's see who you are. Caller, thanks for calling in. Who's hey, this? Jonathan. What's going on, man? I'm good, I'm good. Uh, this is, well, this is MRA Music. Oh, what up, dude? Thanks. Hey, been seeing you uh, checking out the show lately. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I'm out here in Montreal and had had a had a uh, question for you. Okay, let's hear it, bro. So, um, it's this grocery store by well, by my house, and um, it's this uh, I would what would you call it? Like a I'm a person there um, that I've been flirting with for the last few months or so. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I finally asked her for her number because, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling her at first, but mm -hmm. I was just flirting around with her for, like, you know, just for, um, just to practice. Right. Um, anyway, she gave me, yeah, she gave me her number about two days ago, and I was just trying to uh, set up a date with her um, last night. Mm -hmm. So anyway, she tried to set me up with her friend. I mean, obviously she probably lost attraction for me. Yeah. But um, she this this friend is more attractive, you know. Straight she up. Is more attractive. It's good. And um, just trying to find out how how do I open her? And I mean, you probably hear the nervous nervousness in my voice. I am a novice, but I'm yeah. trying to learn from you. Uh, you know, just would we'll, we'll like would we'll like to hear your advice on how. How do I open her up? You know, because like I, I've seen her at the store. It, like it's a friend of hers um, that also works there, mm -hmm. and I think I've spoken to her once, but it was just like a general question. Yeah. Um, how would you open her? Like, how would you? It's it's very simple, dude. It's just it's like don't overcomplicate it. You have to do one. This is what I do. Okay. If she's open to getting the information, right? Or giving you information to contact her, right? Her contact information. She's open to giving that to you. So she's already interested on some degree. You, you feel me? Right. Okay. So then what you got to do is you just got to make the leap. And what I do is you have to ask her out. I, there's a video I call on my show, uh, on my channel, it's called uh, How to Ask, uh, or I think it's called How to Set a Date, or How to, yeah, I think it's called How to Set a Date. But basically, anytime you ask a girl out, it's like this you hit them up and you say, Hey, this is the time, the location, 
and the activity. Okay, so you, let's say you're going to take her out on Friday night. Say, hey, baby, let's meet Friday night, 8 p.m. for bowling. And you let it sit. You send, you hit the send button or you, if you're on the phone and you're talking to her voice uh, you know, uh, on a call, you ask her, hey, baby, let's go out Friday night, 8 p.m. bowling at Joe's Bowling Alley, right? And then it is dead silence, okay, after you ask that. Dead silence because, A, that's going to force her to make a decision right then and there. And this is how you are going to find out if a woman is interested in you or not. She's only going to say one of three things. She's going to say, yes, I will agree, let's go, which indicates she's interested. No, she doesn't want to be uh, – she's not interested, so she'll say no – or she's busy, or she's got to fucking visit the goddamn tooth fairy, whatever the fucking lie she tells you. Basically, it just means she's not interested. <laughs> and then the third option is she will re she will offer to reschedule, okay? She'll offer to reschedule, meaning she will give you a counter offer. She'll be like, hey, sorry, Friday, you know, I got to fucking get a liver transplant, but, uh, you know, I'll be good to go on Sunday at <laughs> noontime. And that right there is, an, is a very high indicator of interest because she is working with you to meet you. You see what I'm saying? Right. Okay, because it, well, she had, she had said, uh, the girl, the girl who was just trying to set me up, she had said that she was. She told me that she was free on Sundays. You know, like, um, you know. Yeah. So. Like she told me that, like the, the friend who was who tried to set me up, mm -hmm. um, he said, "Oh, she's free on Sundays." Mm -hmm. um, and so you're saying open, open with that exact? Because I, I've I've spoken to the girl once, but I don't like I don't know her. Mm -hmm. I know of her from the store, but mm -hmm. you're, you're saying just open, just open with that statement. Well, no, no, definitely not. That's going to that, hey, this is my number. Yeah, no, definitely. That's going to creep her out. No, you you first you have a conversation with her and you're like, "Hey, what's going on? It's me from the shop. How's life? Blah blah blah. What are you doing? Oh yeah, did you see the fucking Raptors won? Wow, right. go go Canada, you know. Whatever." And then um and then you say, "Well, hey, listen, you know, um I talked to so and so. She said you're interested in going out." And she told me you're free on Sunday, so let's go do something on Sunday. And, like, that's the thing. You can't be asking a girl out be like, hey, let's just do something. You have to make – you have to be a man and be a leader. And you have to say, let's do X, Y, Z. For me, one of the best first dates in the world, it's global proof, man. It's, it's money is a coffee date. You just say, hey, sweetheart, let's go have coffee on Sunday, 3 o'clock, Starbucks – at the mall, right? That way, it's low interest for you, like a low investment for you, right? Because if she's batshit crazy, or you, or you like, you show up and you're like, "Oh my god, this girl doesn't take care of herself," or she turns out she's fat or something like that, you know, you could you could just get out of there quickly. Right. You're not sitting like down for a whole nine course meal, and you're paying all this extra money to get involved with uh, somebody that you're just not interested in, you know, coffee. Even if you feel sad, like, oh, fuck, I'm not going to ditch her. You could sit down, slam your coffee in 30 minutes, be like, oh, shit, uh, you know, they just flew in the liver. I got to do a the transplant. Got to go. <laughs> you know, so you can, uh, you, can, you can bounce out of there. So, yeah, and that's the thing. Uh, we can, oh, there's a, and it's funny. There's a girl watching right now. She says, Co coffee is the epitome of cliche. Yeah, uh, well, you, with that attitude, I'm pretty sure you don't have a man. Um, and what, what should we do? Take you horseback riding on the first date, the complete fucking stranger and drop all his cash. Get the fuck out of here. Um, but yeah, the coffee date, the, the coffee date is, is works. And if, and that's the thing, if the girl likes you, she's going to go. The, if a girl likes you, she'll do anything. If she'll, she'll go to fucking Mars. Yeah. Ax throwing. That's fucking, yeah. Waste of money. The last thing I'm going to do is sit there and watch a complete stranger throw axes. The fuck? No way. <laughs> Maybe after they earned it, but as far as I say, right. <laughs> you know that. But that that's the general that's the general yeah. gist of it all, right? Is you just ask right. her out. So you have to you have to get in communication with her. Start talking to her. Start texting her. 
Uh, don't don't be texting her for years and years and years. Um, but you know, definitely you don't want to There's be no basic rapport. Yes, 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 exactly. Basic rapport, and then ask her out, and then that's the thing. And you know. There, there's been plenty of times where I've met a girl and I thought she was so beautiful and amazing. And then I got to know her personality. And I was just like, oh, my God, you are like walking AIDS. I do not like you at all. And I want to get the, like you need to get the fuck away from me. So there are, you know, there's multiple ways to look at this. Um, so, you know, don't get too invested because it, that's the thing. If you're invested in this one girl heavily, you know, that's how you develop one-itis. You know, be sure you're talking to multiple women and practice, you know, asking out multiple women. Because in order to find a woman that's a keeper, a woman that's a keeper is very rare these days, okay? Because the average woman these days is a complete fucking bum. So it's going to take you some time to actually find a quality woman. So you have to get used with, you have to get used to asking women out with this uh, situation here. Because um, you're, the chances are, in order to get, good at this you're gonna need to do a lot of practice but this is like this is like the bare bones essential part right here is learning how to right. just ask them out and uh and learning how to deal with rejection too because you know she may say no that's why i say always ask in the way that i said set the time the location and the activity and then right there you already know is she interested or not yeah, I've definitely, I've set up, you know, I've set up dates, I've been on a few dates, I haven't, I haven't got a high leg out, but, um, mm -hmm. I just, just, just this, like, type of situation, how I, you know, how I was trying to get with another girl, and she mm -hmm. instead gives me this other girl's number, like, this, this situation is, I've never really had to deal with it. So, okay, let me get some info on you. How old are you? Yeah. Uh, 22. Oh, wow, you're a fucking infant. You're so young, bro. Good. And how many girls have you been with? About, well, five. Five? Yeah, I'm very, like, I am a novice, but, like, I mean. Oh, no, no. I'm Look, dude, know, listen here. I'm trying to. No, listen, yeah. listen, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. But here's the deal, okay? I'm not trying to, like, humiliate you or fucking talk shit to you on the air. I'm just collecting data in order to give you the greatest value on this call right now because I need to know, like, where you are skill wise it's like you know you don't walk up to a white belt and start t teaching him black belt techniques you know you got to start from the ground up so uh five is a good number so you're not a complete like idiot um and i mean if you got laid once you can do it again right so at 22 like are, what are you doing yeah. to improve yourself are you in school are you learning something that's valuable that's going to be valuable to the marketplace are you lifting weights what else are you doing yeah yeah i'm, I'm studying out here in Montreal. I'm actually well, from Bermuda. Um, okay. It's like a small island. I know where Bermuda but, uh, is. Yeah, I'm studying. I'm, I'm a musician, actually, and I'm in my last year. I'm thinking of changing degrees um, to get into, like, the medical field. Very um, smart. So I am a musician. And that's what I've been make, making, yeah, making my money as. So. Well, uh, yeah, getting into the medical degree or the medical field at all I mean, that is the most lucrative business you can get into other than like banking or cryptocurrency at this point because ain't nobody trying to die. Everybody wants to live and they pay top dollar to stay alive. I've been alive my whole life and it's been fucking great. So <laughs> definitely, yeah. definitely get into that medical field because down the road, you know, you women are going to start wanting more out of you. And honestly, too, you just want to be. It's nice to have money. It's nice to have money and, ha and have a good career and not like be worried about like, oh my God, can I pay the bills? Can I do this? Can I do that? Like, you know, so definitely good, man. I would definitely, listen, bro, I would definitely make that switch um, into the medical field 100%. Even if it takes you five years, you'll be 27. And, like what kind of medical stuff do you think about doing? Like uh, you think about being a male nurse, a doctor, or what are you doing? Actually, uh, like maybe medical medical research. I'm really like I'm really into writing as well. Mm -hmm. um, I I like researching different things and like mainly like uh, like researching either cancer or mm -hmm. like sort of like public health research. Okay, is that is there good money in that field? I'm not too familiar with it. It's about 
like seventy thousand a year. I mean, but that's that's if you're obviously just average. Yeah. Um, no, seventy thousand is good footing. I, don't know, I just wasn't wasn't thinking. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. What were we saying? What are, What are your What are your thoughts on that? I think it's good. I think it's good start. I mean, better than fucking you know. Being a musician full time is the reality is a lot of people don't succeed. So um, unless you're like playing classical music and you go to like training and then then you're selling your hours for uh, you're trading your hours for money, which is you're never going to get rich doing that. So, but I think yeah, getting a, getting exactly. into in yeah. the, getting into that direction is very good because then you can like write medical papers and people can pay you large sums of money to do research grants, all that stuff. So. No man, sounds good. Sounds like you got a good head on your head, uh, shoulders as well, man. So just do what we did. We'll do what we practiced today. Set the time, the date, and then the location, and then you will be set like Tibet, baby. Appreciate it, John. All right, man. Get into body language mastery if uh, if you if uh, if you can. Coming on the twenty eighth, we do sessions just like this With every. LC. Every day with the uh, with the webinars. Right. So right. thanks for calling in, buddy. Have a good one. I'll see you in the chat. Okay. Cool. All right, season. What a nice guy. That's our that's our man, MRA Music. He is uh, had a question. I think that was a very good call. Oh, Eric wants to know, hey John, what's that you're drinking? I am drinking. Can I see the camera? Let me see the camera here. Okay. I'm drinking uh, Mali. Coconut water. I'm hydrating after a night of debauchery. Debauchery. Yeah, this entire thing is, it's one liter. And it's 220 calories, this whole thing. So it's one liter of water. Coconut water is so good for you. And uh, I love coconut water. It's one of my favorite things in the world to drink. I order it by the case. I get a case of 10. It's like 50 bucks or 45 bucks. And um, that's totally worth it. It's totally worth it. Investing in healthy food is, is, is seriously one of the best things you can do for your life. Uh, Edgar Vince Vale, Mr. Superman Rocks. What's up? What's up? What's up? Vandy, what up? Who else is here? Wow, everybody, a lot of people are here today. Uh, Lou, what up, baby? Just finished listening to Donovan talk about how women are like alcoholics. <laughs> Donovan's been, uh, Donovan's fucking radio show is hilarious. Some of his titles are like make me die from laughter. When he's like, why? Like one of his titles is like, why all educated educated women are frauds or something <laughs> it's just like <laughs> the man is a savage i love it um let's see no condominium no problem <laughs> double tech no double textile boy no double texting uh let's see jean simon la rose what's up mohammed if you only see her at your workplace, text her. But she even looks sexy without the uniform. Ha <laughs> Don't feed him before you fuck him. Charlie, what up, baby? Charlie, you did not build this desk. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> uh, I got a new desk, guys. I, I'm restructuring the whole thing here. And um, I had to go to uh, Osaka. And I came back. Then I went out last night with, uh, with Mr. Fucking Ballers Only. And fucking oh, s- struggling. 10.32 p.m., still struggling. <laughs> it went hard last night. Um, qual- the quality women around me are few and far between. Very true. Quality women are just hard to get in general. Also, never take that call me on the date to confirm. It's just the bitch trying to weasel her way out. <laughs> Tell her, nah, I'm busy. If you can't make it, we'll do it another time. Some gorilla pimpness in you there, uh, Mr. Winston Wolf. Guys, phone lines are open for you just uh, joining in right now. 657-383-1318. Call in. Call in with your questions. We got this going to go 
we got this thing rolling here. I've been told I have unrealistic expectations of women because I expect them to be attractive, educated, hold a conversation, take care of themselves, etc. I guess that's asking too much. Um, yeah, maybe. I don't know. For me, I, I, dude, I like girls that are dumb, cute, and obedient. That is what I like. Dumb, cute, and obedient. That Those are my big three. If she's dumb, she's cute, she's obedient, she's a 10 to me. <laughs> uh is it is too much says muhammad by the way it's flag day in the usa for all you for all of you patriotic americans just saying good stuff john smith hey mld how to be happy i've had some success with cognitive behavioral therapy good stuff good morning everybody says lewis bk welcome brother your viewership your daily viewership has doubled quickly it seems so thank you ivor that's very nice of you Expect no less from the women in your life than you do from yourself and keep your self expectations high. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, well, while, the, while we're waiting for people to call in, I actually I wanted to review these clips yesterday. Right. Uh, and Vandy, that's just me, man. I'm not dude. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm just saying that's what I like. Um, I've noticed that girls that are educated tend to be a bigger, bigger pain in the ass because what does educated really mean? Educated just means brainwashed. Because that's what universities have become. It's not like you go to university to to learn. The majority of people are going there and getting brainwashed because the majority of the degrees that you go to university for are fucking trash. They're worthless. Feminist studies, liberal arts, um, you know, what are There's so many fucking garbage degrees out there. Most universities are just becoming degree mills, right? You're just pumping out these degrees. Like you, get a, you get a bachelor's degree in fucking history. Like what? You know what you're gonna do? You're gonna fucking be work at the ticket machine at that museum? Would you really want dumb if it was if you was to wife her up and have a family with her? What's the benefit of having a smart chick? I don't want her dumb and like ruining my life, but I just need her like you know I I like there, there's a, there's a certain level of dumb and happy that I that I like. Um, it looks like we got a call on line three two three. Let's bring him on. Hello, caller. Welcome to the show, sir. Hey, John. What's up? What up? Who this? Hey, John. How you doing, man? It's Kev. Kev, what's up, man? Hey, what's going on, man? Hey, uh, kind of off topic what we were just saying, but I kind of got like a little rant, if you don't mind. Let's hear it, baby. Well, lately, I, I don't know. I think I need a new approach with how I've been um, going about things. Yeah. Um, I'll just give you like a recent example. Okay. I drive for Uber and Lyft part-time mm -hmm. um, every once in a while, like on some weekends. So uh, this past week, I'd have met, you know, I've, I'm always meeting like a lot of cool people, a lot of hot chicks. So I just happened to meet about three hot chicks within a two-day span. Mm -hmm. And I, all, all three of them, man, I think I, I, I fucked all three of them up by holding like long-ass conversations, pointless conversations, you know, via text message. Like, we set dates, and mm -hmm. I'll give one example. One of them, she says she works pretty much a lot, mm -hmm. and we scheduled a date for Monday. She pretty much called off and said, can we push it to Wednesday? So I said, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. Tuesday comes, I uh, confirm it, like, late, because we were having long-ass long, long -ass conversations, text message on the day before. Mm -hmm. Then she hits me last minute and says she got an uh, email from her boss saying that she had to be somewhere out of the city, so pretty much Wednesday was out as well. I didn't hear from the thing. Today's Friday. So that's one example. So uh, example, uh, uh, let me let me hold on, Kev, 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 Kev. Let me uh, let me let me knock them out one by one, okay? So for this first one, okay, it, go ahead. Here's the deal. Once they start, like once you make a date, once you set a date with her, and she says yes, and then she comes back trying to change it. Okay, that for me never works okay. out. It never works out because all she's really doing okay. is she's slowly rationalizing you out of her life. Another thing is this, like, because, you know, she's first you don't meet her and then she's like, oh, well, I pushed off then. She's like, ah, do I really like this guy? I don't know. I'm going to cancel. Right. And that's exactly what happened right here. So for her, I would go I would go ghost on her. Uh -huh. 
I would hit her up. Don't te- like you have to go ice cold, okay? Ice cold. Okay. Zero text reply. Zero liking her statuses on social media. None of that shit. Nothing. Okay. okay? And um, then okay, I can do that. Yeah, then that and then and that's fine. And then um, next is also this. Okay, when you when you allow her to change the the time and the location, what you're doing is you're letting her take lead in the relationship. And anytime there's a relationship with woman in lead, uh, she's on her way out. Okay. Because women don't like to be in a relationship when they are the leader. They fucking hate it. They hate the responsibility and they hate you for not being a man on taking the responsibility. Okay. Okay, and when I say hate, I really mean it. Okay. Okay. So you can't – so here's the proper way to handle it. If she was like, hey, I can't meet you on this day. Uh, How about Wednesday? Then you got to be like, okay, I'll hit you up when I'm free and that's it. I'll I'll hit you up when I'm free to reschedule, and then ice in your veins, bro. Ice in your fucking veins. No texting, nothing. If she doesn't comply, goodbye. Okay. All right, and then let's go to the next one. Okay, so next girl, um, I actually met her at the gym originally, and then we reconnected. Coincidentally, she was one of my uh, passengers. Okay. And um, she, I, I think I fucked that up too because it was a, we still mm-hmm. having long drawn out conversations and um, mm-hmm. for her her job I guess she she's like a dog sitter so she you know houses dogs and shit like that mm-hmm. so instead of planning a date like right on the spot um you know asking silly questions you know where'd you go to school you know a little you know bullshit yeah. like that that's what you gotta and do on the date my man he pretty much just, those questions you ask on the yeah, date I know. she pretty much went ghost on me she asked what my instagram was i gave him my instagram and um she saw a picture of me and my dog and then i guess she had she i knew she commented on my dog and then i kind of flipped it to try to flirt to see if she was commenting on me mm-hmm. and she didn't respond so i was like damn i got played Mm-hmm. But you know, because she's a you know a dog lover, so she, I guess she just followed me to look at my dog and stuff. So. Right. Well, I, I, I oh here's the I'm thing, Kev. Up out here, man. Hey, hey, listen, it's straight, dude. It's good to go. Um, we got our we got our our, our local Christian in the house, Tom. Tom, who gave me a hundred dollars to give my life to the Jesus yesterday. He said long conversations. No, you are her Uber driver. You never had a chance. And I just want to refute that live on the air because I was a taxi driver in Hawaii and I would do exactly what Tom is saying that um, I, I, I meet women. In, I, this is what I did in Hawaii and this is what you can do too. So you got to frame this as a – you got to reframe this as a learning lesson, right? In Hawaii, I would okay. talk to the girl, screen her to see if she was sexually interested – and then, if I w- if I found out she was interested, um, I would make you know I would kind of you know under the radar, kind of like plausible deniability, make make kind of like the the move on her, see if she was interested. And then the girls that were interested, they ended up. I mean, we started fucking some. I started fucking some of these girls in the back of my cars. Um, I remember you know a couple of them actually. And then after you drop them off, they fucking pay you. So it's definitely possible. This is the, right now what you're doing is you have the best opportunity in the world to get your mouthpiece on tip top shape. Uh, how old are you, Kev? I'm 26. How old? 26? 26. Oh, yeah. 26. Yeah, you're still young, mate. You're still very young, sir. So yeah. um, you got a lot of, I mean, I'm 33 and I'm still laying it down. So. If you practice for seven years and you hit the where I'm hit, I mean, I'm I'm living, I got a good life, man. Um, I got a good life, and I, my, my pimping game is is top notch. So, um, you know, don't get disheartened, um, because I know, like you know, like there are highs and lows in in the in this pimping game, and you know, right now you just you right. you're probably just riding a low, and that's straight. You're doing the right thing. You keep on going, you know, 
Um, you're calling in, you're getting help. Are you taking care of yourself? Are you, are you like in the gym? You lifting weights? You got some money hustles going on? Everything else? Are all the other boxes checked in your life? Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah, I'm. I'm pretty much in good shape. I'm. I'm doing martial arts. I'm. I'm boxing. I'm. Good. You know, I'm following all the red pill rules. But yep. When it comes to the women, you know, I don't want to keep dependent on Tinder and everything. You know what I mean? I want to be able to do stuff in person, face to face. Right. Right. Well, and, and you know, it all it all comes with with uh, repetition, mate. That's another thing too. And as a as a player in 2019, right? The real deal is this: you've got to have multiple streams of pussy coming in. You got to have your Tinder. You got to have your Bumble. You got to have your OK Cupid. You got to be having your Badu, your Happen. You got to have your Street Game. You got to have your Network Pimping. Okay. ABP man, always be pimping, right? All right. You ever watch my? You ever watch my video? The the most efficient way to get sex. I haven't. I will though. Check it out. It's it's a very good video. I chart it all out, and the rules I always say are this: ABS and ABC. Always be sourcing, right? Always be sourcing, which means looking for new girls, and always be closing. Okay. None of this. Oh, baby, baby, let's go on five, six, seven dates. You're the love of my life. Oh, I finally got some pussy. Yay. Like, you know, you got to be closing within three dates or you're fucking out. And the chart on the video, um, the most efficient way to get sex really breaks it down nice and well for you. So um, go ahead and check that out in the meantime, all right? All right, man. Okay, will do. Thank you, John. Hey, you're very welcome, sir. Get into Body Language Mastery for daily doses of pimping like this, all right? And I'll holler at you till next time. I definitely will. Thank you. You're welcome. See you, brother. See you, see you, see you. Awesome callers today, man. I fucking love you guys. I love every single one of you because I am... A child of the risen King, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior here on this channel. Um, praise God. Praise Allah, too, because we got some Muslim brothers in the house, too. Just I'm, I'm going to have both of you guys fucking at my necks. <laughs> oh, Jesus, what a time to be alive. Yeah, guys, so call in. The phone number is on the air right there, 657-383. 1318. No call is too small. And the only stupid question is the one that you do not ask. And if you're finding this message of value and you're liking what I do, please do not be shy. Go to that link right there in the chat, streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel. Click on that link right there and send your tithe. Send 10% of your income to me as a donation because we are a christian channel now we we are we are born again born again players we are ejaculating for the lord over here um thank you to all of my guys uh, atheist motherfucker here praise vegeta <laughs> praise him over 9000 praise our lord and savior vegeta king of all final flashes um yeah but if you guys also, if you want to book a consultation with me, you can go ahead and click on that link right there, streamlabs.com forward slash modern life dating channel, send $70 and you will be, you will be instantaneously booked for a Skype session with yours truly. I'll be doing a, a Skype session with our boy, uh, Tarek. And then Ron, we got one for you on Saturday and then Lou, you're on Sunday. And then we got my man. Tony, Tony, uh, he, we will get yours sorted out. I believe you got a date on Saturday, so uh, we can do um, probably Sunday is good. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Roosh, <laughs> what's up, Sabri, Sabri Kelly? Uh, it's funny. It's funny that like, the show is actually growing so much. Girls are starting to watch me now. That is absolutely hilarious. I do con I do consults for girls too. I got I changed this one girl's life. She's about to get married to a rich dude because of me. She fucking on that gravy train. 
Uh, Dan Hamlet, our pimp from the UK, says, Tom, I disagree. I'm a taxi driver and had many opportunities with women. John has a few stories when he was a taxi driver with women too. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No, man, the taxi, dude, the taxi life when I was driving that cab in Hawaii, boy, oh boy, man, I was a gigolo on wheels. I was literally picking up girls, screening them with conversation and seeing if they're interested in me. And then, like I said, some of these girls were having sex with me in my taxi. And then I would drop them off at their place and they would pay me money. I was like, I, I really, I would go home at night to my loving girlfriend at the time <laughs> and i would and uh, and i would just think i have i have figured life out as a man i am ultimately winning i am crushing the life game uh, so no it's absolutely possible and we've got more than 50 people watching live right now guys please go ahead and click the like button in order to boost me in the sjw YouTube algorithm because the only thing they respond to is likes. Other than that, they're going to try support, uh, start trying to suppress my message. So please kindly click that like button, and um, that will help me out. That's the quickest and freest way to help. Sabri Kelly says, "Oh no, my boyfriend was a taxi driver in Cuba. Ha <laughs> ha! That's why you're dating him. That's why you're dating him. He locked you down too." No, nah, you're a pretty girl. He'll he'll stay with you. Uh, I'm not just saying that too. I'm not just like saying that. You actually are a pretty girl, and you have a you're actually skinny in America, which is a fucking super great thing because every girl is looking like those big old fat mannequins. Can we do can we do a Nike woke review real quick? Let's do a Nike woke review. Okay, so we're also we're gonna do a little woke review. Nike mannequin. Look at this thing that they got in the UK. All right. Now, this is <laughs> – this is so funny. This is funny. Nike is a sports and fitness company, and they are, they've got this mannequin out right now. Look at this fucking silverback gorilla. Are you joking me? Are you joking me? Guys, this is not to be – Jesus Christ. Peter just sent me $100. Peter, thank you very much for the donation. Good Lord. Peter with the $100 donation. All right. Daddy's going to the strip club tonight. Just joking. Just joking. Because this is a Christian channel. And I will be going to preach the gospel tonight using this $100. Thank you very much, Peter. First time donator. $100 in the house. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I feel the power of the Lord coursing through my veins. I mean, I'm going to read a scripture here soon, but let's continue talking about this woke review here. Guys, what is going on? Uh, listen, no matter who you are, okay, being this size, man or woman, is not healthy for your heart, okay? This is not good. Even if you have excess muscle to this extent, it's still not good to your heart. Puts a lot of stress on your joints, okay? The ideal build is to be like Spider-Man, okay? That's like the best way to stay long, healthy, and agile for life. Um, like this one, this mannequin here. This is a very good ideal body type for longevity. I'm talking about living long and being healthy. But this one here, it's just like, it's like, really? And of course, it's not a man. It's a woman because... That's what all this feminism nonsense is, this fat, this uh, body, uh, body positivity, fat shaming, whatever. All it is is an agenda to take more money. That's all it is. That is all it is. Okay? Because this is for sale. This ain't for free. Every piece of science shows that having excess body weight is detrimental to human health. Yet here we are promoting it. Uh, it's just, it's just ridiculous. Like, oh, you're so woke, so woke that you're going to be fat, diabetic, and then dead in that order. O-M-G. 
Have we lost our fucking mind? Um, let's go back to the chat here. Yeah, Peter, thank you for the $100 donation. I don't even know who you are, but thank you, sir. Um, not our local Peter uh, from Austria. Peter from Austria is actually, he's up, like, I think he's in, like, in Iceland or he's on some cool vacation right now. Um, he's, he's, yeah, he's doing great. Uh, that's a guy. I love that guy. He's a great guy. Um, uh, Flowmaster Ace says, yo, John, what's the intermittent fasting program? And what, what are you do eat when you usually consume? So the be the best thing to do, the simplest intermittent fasting program is literally like, I tell the guys, I tell everybody this. Okay. Tell my bitches, tell my bros. Okay. You only eat in an eight hour window. From 12 p.m. to 8 p.m. every day. That's it. It's the only time you consume calories, including liquid calories, okay? And just so you know, there's no calories in your daily bread in the Bible. So whenever you got the urge to eat some calories in your fasting, just pick up the Word of God and read it. Take your daily bread, and the Lord will save you from obesity, okay? That being said, intermittent fasting, the science is there, okay? For fat loss, there is nothing better than fasting, period. The autophagy that occurs, okay, what autophagy does, autophagy it occurs in the human uh, cells. And autophagy is when you stop eating, your body actually starts using the fat that you have stored on you to break down cells and rebuild them, right? And... This process is called autophagy. It only occurs when you're fasting. Very, very, very beneficial for health overall. Okay. Anybody who doubts you or doubts that uh, is a complete fool. What I usually eat um, today, I was hungover as shit, and so I ate a pizza. So that don't eat pizza. But when I am like uh, prepping and everything, I have a big piece of I have a big piece of Tupperware. What I do is I take eight chicken breasts and I throw it in there with some salt, some pepper some lemon lime salt that I got from Vietnam. I take one lime, squeeze it in there, some pink Himalayan salt and black pepper, freshly ground black uh, black pepper. And you just let that, um, you let that sink, you let that just sit. And anytime you're ready to grill or cook, you just reach into your Tupperware, pull out a chicken breast, boom. Uh, eat it with some vegetables. I like, to, I personally like spinach and I eat a lot of mushrooms because mushrooms are a, a big thing in Japan, um, I eat some spinach with it, some mushrooms and garlic sauteed in some butter. And uh, also salad is never a bad thing. Um, romaine lettuce, cherry tomatoes. I, I like to – there's this uh, wasabi dressing they have here in Japan that's really delicious and very low calorie. So I do that. <clears throat> and then if I'm going to work out – if I'm working out, I usually have like a, like a half a cup of rice with it after my workouts to restore the glycogen the glycogen the glycogen stores in your muscle um, because your body actually stores uh, glycogen in your muscles and that's like when you eat you your body gets kind of pumped up because it absorbs water and uh, your muscles look nice and full from eating carbs at the right time you don't want to be eating too much carbs um, but usually yeah like I said um, grilled chicken steak, Big steak guy. Not eating as much fa uh, fish as I should, but if I do eat fish, um, canned tuna with some uh, mayonnaise. Always a good time. Always a good time. I hope that was a, a detailed enough answer there for you, Flowmaster. And if you're really concerned about um, weight loss, fasting one day a week for 24 hours is very good for you. Just do water. Um and black coffee and green tea. That's really good. Uh, if you do a dry fast, which is only the gangster of gangsters can do that shit, but a dry fast is gives you the benefits of like three days of fasting. And a dry fast is one 24-hour period, no water and no food. Um, is it difficult? Absolutely. Is it healthy? Absolutely. It, the health benefits, guys, you have to realize we've been conditioned, especially for my American fellows, because I mean, me too. Um, I'm telling you that uh, with the whole like food, like industrial food complex, if you will, like we've been conditioned to overeat and be fat fuckers. 
So you have to realize, you have to ask yourself, am I hungry or am I like, or am I just, am I feeling an impulse to eat? Because more times than not, it's the, it's the impulse, not the actual hunger. And none, and yet none of the ladies here ask you to take off your rube like a gay lube oil. Gay lube oil is a complete joke. Autism boy, welcome. What's up? Oh, Jonathan, that hundred was me. Now go save ten souls in Japan. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Tom, for the hundred dollars. I am thrilled. And thank you for the ten dollar super chat. I am feeling invigorated with the power of the Holy Ghost and the power of Benjamin Franklin in that hundred dollars. Thank you for the donation, sir. Uh, Captain Ron, what up, baby? God damn, the fat ass store. <laughs> Eric, that's funny. The fuck bike, that's not athletic. Yep. Good morning, guys. MLD, loving the show as ever. Just keeps getting better. Thank you, Captain Ron. You are a fuck, you're such a nice guy. You're a fucking great guy, man. You're very sincere, too. I remember, I remember chatting with you in the webinars, and it was very just nice to talk to you. Hopefully, when I do my USA tour, you can take me on one of those nice boats you fish around in. That would be great. It's got to be miserable to be that big. Yeah, man, of course it is. The, the health complications are awful. Ah, uh, Trophy Dolphin, Baby Jacob says, swimmer's body. Absolutely. Great body shape right there. All right, we got a caller on the line. Let's see who it is. 754, you are on the line. Yo, what's up, man? It's Charles again. Oh, what up, um, Pimpin? New update. Um, well, I have a question. Okay. I got a question. So, from from my understanding, right? Now, obviously, I'm still learning. You're not supposed to ever be. You can love your woman, but you're not supposed to be in love with your woman. Right or wrong? Uh, you you could be like in an LTR type situation. I mean, I love my girl to death. I've loved. I, I'm. Am I in love? I don't know. I'm not like infatuated, but like, I love my girl. Like when I'm chilling with her, I'm just like, I just love her. I love her to death. If somebody tried to fuck with her, I'd kill him. But it's not. It's not at the same time. Like if she, like, stole all my Bitcoin and like went and fucked a bunch of dudes, would I be like, oh my god, I'm devastated. I'd fucking beat her ass <laughs> if she stole my Bitcoin. But uh, you know, like uh. No, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. It's when the love or whatever starts making you put her needs before you. You can love her, but you better love yourself a hundred times more. That's what I'm saying. I mean, I always keep these bitches at, like, arm's length. Yeah. Just because that's how I move because you can never, like, what was that thing? You got to be able to drop a bitch in 30 seconds or some shit. And that's how I move. But now this bitch is coming out, um... Like, I played it cool during the whole, um, she was just yelling or whatever, I was like, cut the shit, but she was, she used the phrase, emotionally unavailable, and I looked this shit up, and I'm like, bro, am I, am I tripping right now, like, do I need to go see a therapist, or is this like... Nah, dude. <laughs> Charles, you know? listen, listen, Charles, I talk to a lot of men, okay, and I'm not, I'm not fucking, I'm not like, you know, jerking you off when I say this, like, trying to, like, make you feel better than you are. You are definitely an above average young man. And you are going places in life. Here's the real deal. If you're in a in a situation when a woman is yelling at you, ever, she got to get to go. She got to go. That's not healthy, okay? That bitch is mentally broken, okay? My girl to this day has never yelled at me. Anytime you get a girl who's yelling at you or there's like high intense shouting or shit like that in your relationship, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. That shit long term is going to be a headache. And that girl is a fucking bum. I'll tell you right now. No no educated human yells and screams at their at the person that they're dating with. Like there's no there's no reason to lose your cool like that. It was uh, yeah, she like she wasn't she wasn't like yelling, but it was like it was getting heated and I was like, This is done. Because I mean, like I don't see these bitches. I'm in a different city every day and stuff, and like she wasn't understanding like Bitch, I have other shit to do. So it's just like, yeah, it doesn't matter. But I just wanted to check to make sure. Or just run it past you. you know, yeah. You no, no, I feel you. And honestly, and and so. of, of course, bro. And it's very good that you called in. Um, that being said, you know, what is going on right now is that kind of girl. Listen, it, 
you need a girl that is on that that is on the Charles plan, okay? You need to make her watch the fucking show Charles in Charge. Like this is this is the theme of my life, bitch. And you have got to blindly support me. Okay? You've got to definitely be on board with my plan. Cuz if not, if she's like, "Well, what about you supporting me?" If she if a girl ever brings up shit like, "Well, why don't you support me?" or "What about my dreams? What about my goals?" She's got to go. She's got to go. That type of argumentative type of woman who doesn't really understand that you're on your path. Uh, the good woman, a woman that you meet and keep as a good keeper, she's going to see you on your path and she's going to want to join you and lessen your burden on this path. A good woman will not add to your burden. She will lessen it. Because as men, we will always have the burden of performance in our lives. And a woman, a good woman will help lessen the burden. A bad woman is going to increase the burden. So what kind of woman do you think this one is right off the bat? <laughs> Waste. Yeah. <Useless. laughs> yep. Definitely. And then this yeah, kind of girl. Life is, life is definitely a match, but it's one of those Tinder fucks. Okay, yeah. yeah. And, and that, oh, then that's, that's another red flag. Dude, you can never take a woman seriously who you've met off of Tinder or Bumble. You, you can never. Period. You cannot. I, I just don't do it. It's too much of a risk, too much of a red flag. I don't play. Yeah, because the same way I fucked at least 20 other dudes. I've yeah. done the same shit. Exactly. I think about that too. Exactly. God damn. So, and listen, it's hard to find a keeper. It is very hard to find a keeper, especially in the States. Um, but, like I said, man, you're you're doing your thing. You know, you make good money, you're very young, and you're focusing on investing that money into a scalable business with the drop shipping. So, dude, you, like I said, as long as you keep on putting in the work for the drop shipping and you keep on – we talked about your financial goals that you had as well. As long as you keep on hitting those targets yes, and keep trending up, life is going to get better. And the more – like uh, the better you get as a man, the larger the pool of women – you will you will have to select from and the larger the pool you have the the higher the probability of you getting a quality woman is there as well true man i have to book another consultation so we can like go more in depth on this shit though i appreciate you man yeah yeah do it do it uh do it fucking do it before uh body language mastery because i know you got into body uh you got into body language mastery the first time around right no, nah, I was not in that. I'm about to do it this time, though. Oh, well, yeah, well, yeah, then definitely. Dude, don't even book a consultation. Just get into Body Language Mastery and then just do the webinars, man. I'm telling you, I do. I Imagine, like, I'm doing this right here, the, the free consultation Friday. Imagine us sitting down with a group of 25 guys on the screen, and we go for one to three hours. And that's what we do every day. So when some of the dudes are like, you're looking haggard. I was like, yeah, yeah. motherfucker, I'm, <laughs> I'm working my ass off every day doing these webinars of course i look haggard so yeah definitely and that, that's a good way to get in and then yeah we'll throw you in the facebook group and everything true true that man but yeah you, you, you're, you're doing good man keep your head up i mean if we, we talked you know you're, you're not a fucking idiot um you know you know i like talking with you as well so just just gotta stay the course and look the the highs and lows the emotional shit that comes bro and the, the, these end these questions these new these nuisance situations you know that it, it's all part of the learning experience and it's all part of the life game so you know it's just it's just part of the game you just got to buck up and handle it all facts all facts y'all have a good day everybody be blessed in the chat all right man take care charles thanks for calling in brother that's our man charles who's got a great screen name um as well it's abundance abundance with the three you see and that's the thing another thing is like you know guys you can tell a lot about a man by the way he has like his uh his username or his screen name that's part of your psychology he's got this abundance he's got this shit going well for him and then you got people like gay lube oil <laughs> really good lord the dregs of the internet really are some fucking weirdos Um, you almost got enough to rent a Japanese porn star from TokyoHentai.com. <laughs> Jacob, 
I hope your cut's going well. I know you're doing that. Uh, yeah, but it's good business decision. If they actually lose weight, then they'll have to keep buying new workout clothes. Eh, I don't know. The amount of fat around the heart, yikes, yeah. Tom, the God pill baller. Oh, thank you. He says, Jonathan, that $100 was me. Now go save 10 souls in Japan. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Holy shit. I feel the power of the Lord flowing through me. Let me read a scripture for you guys right here. I'm going to read a scripture from you from the book of John, chapter 3, okay, verse 16. And if you guys don't really understand what's happening right now, take the God pill, all right? Turn away from your wicked ways. Book of John, chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So if you want to live forever, send me $100 right now and dedicate your life to Jesus. You can live for eternity, forever and ever. Amen. Replacing Rob Cruz, says Ben. <laughs> Check Steam Lab. Oh, I know. I got it. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. You you just worked you uh you just worked your way to the top of the the uh what do I say? You just worked your way to the top of the whole food chain in regards to um donations. Actually, I think. Yeah, let me see the rankings. I think you're number one. Let's check what we got here. Yep. Look at you. In the name of the Lord, you are now number one. Leaderboard. Tom Bombadil, $100. Thank you very much. But let's see. Who's the all-time winner? All-time is still Ryan. Then we got Greg B, Jacob, Big Googs, Conk, Tom Bombadil. Tom, you're number six. You got to get to number one for the sake of the Lord. Okay, that's really, you, you know, Jesus doesn't like losers. You got to get your way all the way to the top. Weekly, you're at the top. Monthly, you're at the top. But all time, do it for Jesus, my friend. Just send me $500 right now, and you will you will be a winner for the Lord, and I'll be able to send, I'll be able to save 50 souls, and I'll convert these Japanese devils to the Lord. <laughs> these godless devils, they these savages that eat with sticks. <laughs> Of course, it's a joke, guys. Please don't fucking cry, all right? It's fucking crazy to have to even say that. Uh, for intermittent fasting, check out Snake Diet channel, boys. A good source for intermittent fasting is Dr. Jason Fung. Oh, Ohuyel McGoogle. I have coworkers saying that they stop eating, they get fatter, but they drink like three cans of Pepsi a day. Well, you, you don't judge them by their words. You judge them by their... Their, their results and if you have if you're a fat fucker then you're doing something wrong sorry it may hurt your feelings but that's it is what it is sugar is the worst thing you put in your body agreed Batmas, basmati rice is a game changer too so, yeah i eat jasmine rice as well jonathan Braden eight says jonathan would you consider it a shit test when a girl tells you not to ejaculate on her face uh not really i mean it's kind of reasonable i don't want anybody coming on my face but if they really like you you know and you like to do it, then she'll do it. So you could just tell you could just tell her you could just tell her she's not that interested in you. I haven't come on a girl's face in a while. Bring back some old memories, might have to do it. Autism Boy says, saw your statement on 21 Convention the other week, made me subscribe to your channel. Big respect. Thank you very much, Autism Boy. <laughs> uh Mike Cherry, what's up, bro? Love, but keep both feet playing on the ground and don't give her access to your bank account exactly. Archie, what's up, bro? Rest of the world equal robbery at gunpoint. Archie, Japan equal robbing Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin fishing, baby. You guys seen Bitcoin? It's at 8,300 now. I told you. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. All you dudes freaking out when it went down to 7,500. What up now? Uh, Kali's 100% John, like Tate says, comply or buy. That's right. Tinder bimbos. Yeah, Tate always says bimbos. It's funny. Gay lube oil looks like a gay porn fluffer. He is. John, I, I do hope you're 
joking with this religious stuff. I, <laughs> uh, perfectly said, John. As men, we can lead. They follow. A woman can add to your life. They are long for the ride. Doing the opposite will lead you to misery. Absolutely. I, n- I now know why Roosh went the way he did. Tom must have been in his live stream. Thank you, Tom, for your support. I feel the power of the Lord coursing through my veins. We've got a caller on the phone right now. 361, you are on the air, sir. What's, hey, what's up? up, John? What's the, is it Jacob? Hey, it's me, Jacob. What yep. up, big, how you doing, big guy? Hey, man. Yeah, so, yeah, my cut's been going pretty well. So whenever, like, I saw you, whenever I came back from my uh, vacation, like, yeah. two weeks, I was at, like, 210. Yeah. And I'm at, like, 200 now. Good, just damn. doing intermittent fasting. Uh, I've started, like, getting back in the gym this week, so. Damn. Yeah, the goal is to get down to, like, 180, 185. Good shit, man. Yeah, you're going to look great. How's everything else going with you? You good? And then I had a, yeah, I'm good. Um, another thing that's come up after I, like, came back mm-hmm. is, like, my, uh, my dealing with, like, bullshit, like, around my work has, like, uh, shortened. Yeah. Like, sometimes I just, like, walk out on some of my supervisors or my coworkers if I don't want to hear what they're saying, right? Yeah. Like, all I hear is just them complaining, like, day in, day out. I was like, what the fuck, man? I don't want to hear this shit. Yeah. Good. You're, you're growing and evolving, man. I mean, you're one of the guys I told you as well. Like, you, guys like you, Charles, Vincent Vale, like, you guys are the fucking... Um, you're the, your guys are the younger ones, but you're also the ones that are like evolving and growing and you don't really, you don't realize it yet. You're too young to, to see what I see. I'm 33 year old man. And I see like a great future for you, uh, for Charles, for Vincent Vale, like, you know, so, you know, you guys really have a great future ahead of you. Um, what you're dealing with right now is you're just, you're, you're growing. Because I don't, I don't want to hear that negative bullshit either. Like when, when I, and let me tell you something. When I rolled these millionaires, there's no negativity, none of that shit. Okay, negativity is for yeah. poor, is for poor people. Complaining, negativity, that's low yeah. IQ behavior, and that's for poor people. I don't handle that shit. I don't do that. Negativity is fucking yeah. cancer in this life. So, and you're doing the right thing by walking out and just avoiding it. And and like even let's say worst case scenario, like you you, you lose that job. So what? You'll get another job. You're not a moron. Um, so there's another thing that happened maybe a week or two ago mm-hmm. with a plate of mine, mm-hmm. and she was telling me um, that she's going to be applying for like a new job or going for interviews, right? Mm-hmm. And the three locations would be a hub, mm-hmm. a maid cafe, or a girls bar. Mm-hmm. And I just found it weird that she would be telling me that she's going into like for an interview because we don't really talk much about shit mm-hmm. but then like i don't know where she was telling me this so i was wondering like what you would think i was thinking like she's just like trying to get my opinion on what she should do or what she's probably doing a little she, bit of she doesn't really have like a father figure yeah so any girl that decides like hey i go to one i want to go work at a bar or i want to go work at like you know for you guys a girl's bar in japan is like borderline prostitution um like they go and hang yeah, out. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, and anytime they enter, like some, like you know, being a bartender in a nightclub, if that is a red flag, um, being a bartender at a restaurant, not so bad. But you know, hub these all kind of like drinking party establishments. You know, a those are not good decisions long term. I can tell you because I've been in it. I've worked in the nightclub industry, and it's not it's not a good. It just there's not it doesn't attract a lot of healthy people, mentally healthy people. I just went into there like my friend invited yeah. me to a job fair and then I just got hired and then that's just what happened. Um, but her doing that probably is a combination of her trying to get your opinion and also her getting uh, your reaction as well to see how much you like her. Oh, another thing that she did was um, whenever I was on my trip – and uh, I came back. I told her, like, yeah, I'm back now. Like, she, she was, like, begging me to come back. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe, like, one or two days after, she, like, admitted 
mm-hmm. um, that she missed me. Like, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, okay. That's good. Yeah, but mm-hmm. I definitely have, like, no plans of, like, being in an LPR with her because I just met her on Tinder. Yeah, so just, you know, you got to, like, like, a like how a, a chess player uses the chess board. You got to strategically place her in, in your life to see where she tr- strategically fits in order to get you to the next level. That's really what it is. You just got to you got to compartmentalize, you know what I mean? So, when you need to have sex, she's going to be in the sex only category. Yeah. And then um so as far as like the job thing, I just told her like out of three options, um the hub would probably be the best cuz the maid cafe would probably she might get forced into like some kind of fetishized prostitution and then girls bar she probably get into prostitution so yeah yeah no now that i know a couple girls i just want to ask you about that yeah they're all bad news um just steer her in another direction if you don't want to like have her go off the deep end um or just just completely detach yourself from it be like yeah hello uh good luck bitch (laughs) okay and i think that'll do it so thanks man yeah Um, Thank you too, man. Yeah, take care. You too, bro. Text me. Hit me up. You know I got you. Yep. All right. Peace out. Later. Later. It's my man, Jacob. And we got it. We got it. So Mick Inks, thank you for the ten dollar super chat. And then Tom, our local prophet, has sent another ten dollars. Thank you, Tom. I truly am invigorated by the spirit of the Lord right now. He has ascended from the Most High into my body, and I am going to preach the word of the Lord. With my, you see my Bible with my name on it right there? I am going to preach the word of God to these Japanese devils and convert them all. <laughs> okay? <laughs> and he says, and I tell you, my, make friends for yourselves by means of unrighteous wealth so that when it fails they may receive you into the eternal dwellings and i tell you make friends for yourselves by means of unrighteous wealth so that when it fails they may receive you into the eternal dwellings i don't understand that but um guys that's gonna do it today for free consultation friday catch me tomorrow i'm gonna be on the the saturday morning cartoon show with the masculine geek squad um, they're, you can go to masculine geek on, um, YouTube. These guys are really nice guys. Um, and I just go over there. I just like talking with them, to be honest with you. There's some really cool guys. Um, they got some, you know, like they're, they're masculine men, but they have geeky hobbies. They like they like Dungeons and Dragons, but they also like, there's a guy, uh, Rob, he's so fucking cool. He sits on his set with like full metal jacket armor, uh, body armor in the background and, uh, an AR-15. And, uh, you know, they, we talk about everything, Star Wars, uh, the whole nine yards. So if you like those kind of things, hobbies, um, if you got some nerdy stuff, check me out on Masculine Geek. I'll be sending out an email to the, all the guys on the email list as well. Um, so, again, for you guys, get on to the email list by going to modernlifedating.com forward slash body language. Click on that link right there. And then, bada boom, you got this page. Click your right here. You're going to type in your best email address. And then click here, subscribe, and you will be set. Like to bet, you get the alert um, for me being on the Masculine Geek. Those guys are awesome as ever. Um, truly some nice men. And I'm going to go over there and do the show with them. But until then, boys, you have a wonderful day. Get out there, make muscles, make money, learn game, and dedicate your life to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And everything will be a okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Watch the Red Man Group with MGTOW on the fucking cast now. Till then, boys. See you later. Peace.